you die very fast in Valorant, which means you need to be able to get the upper hand and better reflexes when it comes to aim. And I want to talk about six tips you can use to improve your aim in Valorant and every player, whether they are new to the genre or new to Valorant, but they've played things like Counter-Strike, you're going to want to learn these things. So I'm going to carry a philosophy that you kind of learn whilst playing Counter-Strike, which is very important here. To be good at aiming in Valorant, you need to put yourself in a position where you're actually doing as little aiming skill as possible. And by that, I mean, you need to make sure where you're aiming is the place you need to be aiming so that when an enemy comes on your screen you basically have to do nothing. This is known as crosshair placement and it's the first tip I want to talk about today. With crosshair placement the whole concept is that you put your crosshair against the wall just in front of it a little bit so that if an enemy comes around the corner or you go around a corner you're going to be right in line with that player keep the crosshair at head height too and that means all you need to do when you come in line of sight of an enemy is click the shoot button. You don't need to do any crazy flicks or anything like that. This is the number one crucial tip that you must learn to improve your aim in Valorant. It's really quite simple and it's going to improve your aim massively especially if you just run around with your crosshair in the center of the screen not going near any walls. This is going to get you killed so fast. No matter how good your reflexes are, you're never going to beat someone who is holding an angle perfectly. Now, there are some improvements you can make if you already know about crosshair placement. For example, putting your crosshair on this side of the wall, for example, isn't going to help. You're going to peek and then you're still going to need to adjust that crosshair slightly. You need to put it slightly in front of the wall as you go around it. And we can talk about some more tips which are going to help you improve your aim that's sort of related to this. Next we have angle distances. Now if you peak an angle from a longer distance you'll actually have a better advantage when you peak that corner. Because of the way angles work you can see here this is a tweet from one of the Riot developers and essentially if you pick a wall really close more of you is going to show before your crosshair does. That includes your arms and your legs so this is really bad. You want to try and peak an angle from as far of a distance as possible. That way the pixels of your body that show before your crosshair shows is going to be a lot smaller. So yes, a very small tip here, but it goes hand in hand with crosshair placement. So we've already learned two things very quickly. One, keep your crosshair to the walls and move around the map in a way that allows you to ensure you're always preparing yourself to be able to walk into somebody and your crosshair is always going to be in line with somebody instead of just moving around wildly. Now we're going to talk about blocking areas of the map so that you can peak angles safely. And this is our third tip. So if you noticed, a lot of places in Valorant have many different angles. So you can walk through an alley and there'll be two different viewpoints that the enemies could be hiding from. And this is gonna be really challenging to peak. You can't peak two angles at the same time, which means if you peak one angle and then turn your back to the other, whilst you're turning your back, you're vulnerable to that other spot. So what you can do is you can use abilities like Viper's abilities here, for example, or a smoke and block off one angle that allows you then to peak the other angle safely. You can wait for the smoke to disappear and you put yourself in a position where you can then peak the other angle safely. It's all about creating situations where you are only showing yourself to one angle and you are looking at that angle. And then once you have cleared that angle, put yourself in a position where you can peek another angle separately. Never go into a fight where you're in a situation where you're peeking a ton of angles at once because there's no way you're going to win that situation. Another thing that's kind of unique to Valorant is that yes, there is recoil control and you can learn the recoil in Valorant, but I've learned personally that there's some kind of randomness to it. I know, I understand that you have to stay very still, otherwise you get bloom. I understand, I play Counter-Strike a lot, so I get that concept, but to me, the recall seems a little random. There seems to be some randomness, so I would highly recommend learning to tap or burst about five or six shots and then let your recall reset, because after that, it gets all kinds of wacky and maybe there's some more learning to it, but 
I don't think so. I think there's some randomness to it that really kind of limits your potential to just do a full spray control. So I'd really, really highly recommend learning to burst instead in this game. The recall is slightly different to Counter-Strike in that regard. The next thing is you need to be able to do AD control. And this means that if you're sprinting, and by that I mean you're not holding shift to slow yourself down, then if you turn a corner and just start firing, your bullets are going to go wild. You need to press the other movement key to counter your movement so that you stay still. So you're holding A and then you hold down D to keep yourself still, you shoot. You let go of A and then you'll move towards the right with the D key. So whenever you shoot, hold down both keys and alternate between each. The next thing is quite unique to Valorant as well. It seems that shifting or walking allows you to still get very good accuracy. I've learned in Valorant that you can pretty much just shift all the way around the map and your accuracy is going to be on point. So if you want to get the most speed, I'd suggest shift peaking corners, shift peaking angles, don't use crouch peaking. It's not going to be as effective. Walking and shooting in this game seems to be much better than it is in Counter-Strike, so definitely learn to take that to its maximum potential. You'll be at your best advantage when you use walk peaking or shift peaking. So that's it, we've covered six different things. We've covered crosshair placement, we've covered shift peaking instead of crouch peaking, we've covered angle distances, we've covered AD control and learning to make sure you're actually staying still instead of sprinting when firing, and we've learned how to block areas of the map so that we can peak individual angles safely. So thank you so much for watching. I know that usually I do Apex content and that's definitely not gonna change, but I am really enjoying Valorant, so I wanted to see how this video will do. Leave your feedback in the comments and I'll see you there. Cheerio.